Ah, uh, I'm just pulling out the Atari Vault again. I'm gonna play some more games on it. Final Fantasy XIV is on maintenance right now, so I'm just <clears throat> looking for other games to play. And uh, <clears throat> I think this time around, <clears throat> I'm not gonna play every single game because uh, <clears throat> you need a joke. You need a controller for a lot of these. It's very difficult to pull off with the mouse and keyboard. Uh, I think this one here was doable. gonna bother playing that game. Can't remember if you could use a mouse for this one or not. Where's the fire button? unwieldy with just a keyboard. Centipede's doable though. Oh, 
wow, spiders eat mushrooms too, didn't know that. Damn it. this one.
Well, setting it to trackball mode helped out a little bit. the last one. short game. I can't hardly tell what that skeleton's gonna be. that up. Game over. Not even gonna think of playing this game. It's like missile command.
talk. Last long. Uh, not even gonna bother playing that one either. <clears throat> uh, major havoc. I'll give this one a go. Oh, good God! A second fight. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Turn the volume down on that one. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Doing a reset. Touch a wall, knocks. Touch a wall, it's dungeon. Actually works too well for this game.
guys there. Any mushrooms they touch become flowers. Flowers are indestructible. I was trying to mention it, but uh, those dragonflies, they lead back and forth and they leave mushrooms behind them. So needless to, say, needless to say, this game gets super hard later on. There's actually waves where you see a whole bunch of those dragonflies, which is dropping mushrooms, practically filling up the whole, the whole room. suck eggs at this game, but nevertheless, I'll give it a go. Ideally, you want to you want to avoid using the uh, missiles from the mi for the middle base. score. Just barely, though. <laughs> and 
Good old Pong. The one that started it all. Or, except maybe out of computer space. I went right through it. I think he's going to win this one. These paddles can be a little bit wider. Tie game. Not high enough. <clears throat> yeah, you can't play with a mouse on this one. Kind of wish you could.
idea in this game is to not let these biplanes get behind you. And later on, they all start shooting bullets at you. They fly randomly too, so you can't really avoid them in the uh, precise sense. Duel. The unique quirk on this game is that you don't have to if you're gonna play like this. One player, two player version, if that makes any sense. Plus, uh, if you've ever seen in a, if you've ever seen a game called Blasteroids, this is kind of a precursor to that game. It's like asteroids, but with a lot more variety involved. I just want to just hit the thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, not what I wanted, but I will. Oh, sprint. Not even gonna bother with that one. You, you pretty much need a steering wheel and a gear shift for that one. on this. Short game. Every 10 or so hits, the play field drops. Give that one another go. Thank <laughs> you. 
next game. And this here is another game where it's going to be very difficult to play without a paddle. I can't hit the broad side of the bar. That sucked. And, uh... Warlord, same thing. You pretty much need a paddle to play. It's next to impossible to play with a trackball and keyboard. Uh, I played, uh... I played basketball last time, so I'm gonna try bowling this time. Pretty much it. Just gotta get the timing down on it. It's a frickin' Atari 2600 game. pin. That 
now is that I gotta hold the button down. Find out what that means. I want to see how there's a man. More difficult to get strikes and spears. Kind of has to be curious, though. I'll try that. Trying to find something that works.
much is that ball weigh? What, half a pound? It's like the ball's being bounced around more than the pins. on a learning curve on that on this game. Let me give it another go. I'm trying to line up my uh, boot, my uh, shoe, my uh, black shoe with the whatever pin I'm aiming for, because it looks like when he uh, when he actually bowls the ball, that's where the ball is going to travel along the axis of that shoe. Trying to knock the three pin into the ten pin. Fourth break, and I haven't had a mark yet. Almost did it. that time.
this again. Okay. I suck. If only to play Breakthrough, yeah. <laughs> I'll do that one. <laughs> oh, this battle's way too sensitive. I gotta go back and fix that. That's all I'd really want anyways, a large battle. Sudden jump. Guess we're on that one. version here is almost harder than the arcade version. Ball definitely don't go that fast that quick. Okay, let's try another one. Canyon Bomber. Oh, this one.
Spira. I suck at this game. Not, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull out the manual, see if there's anything else I can do. Like slow up, like slow down or speed off or something. Go deeper, please. Oh, he just hit stuff automatically. not nearly gonna be as good as the arcade. I remember this game though. It's fun as hell but it's also hard as hell too. <laughs> I decided it's gonna take a long time to get used to.
And I forgot what button it was to... You can switch the, uh, teeter-totter thingy. Well, it's an authentic manual, and I know that because it's saying the left controller and not the keyboard, which is what I'm really needing. Pretty good. Sometime today. I tried barriers. <clears throat> it can make it harder, or it can also make it easier, too. Or hell. Let me up, skip this and try another game. I gotta. I'm probably gonna break off here in about 15 20 minutes. Combat. This is the one that came with the Atari 2600. And I believe it's a two-player only game, too, so... 
Demons and Diamonds is another good one. Yeah, I better put it on slow.
Capture. I think I played that one. Yeah, I'll play this one. Basically, kind of works like Minesweeper. Gravatar. Haunted House. Yeah, I played the living hell out of that, but only on like level one, though. Home run. I think I played it. Once, twice, didn't get into it much. Human Cannonball. Probably some physics flash game. Maze Craze played the played the crap out of that one. It's actually a lot more fun with two players. With only one player, it gets pretty boring. Play that one. Played this one a lot. A lot easier than the arcade one, that's for sure. Night Driver. I'll do a game on here. Never heard. 
I'll uh, uh, play that one. I think that's another one. Um, that's got one player, but I think it was uh, more fun with two. Punk Sports, I know you heard of that one. Quad Run. That's the one I'm thinking of. You got a... Games on here. Sentinel. I think I might have played this one before. Uh, don't recall it. Skydiver played that one. Sucked at it. Slot machine. Space War. I think it's. It's one player. Um, it's just like it's just like the old classic. Um, I play this on the IBM computer. It's a lot more fun with two players rather than just one. Star Raiders was a pain in the butt. You were actually given a... It was like a big piece of hardware that had a bunch of extra buttons on it. Yeah, it even shows in the back of the cartridge here, the back of the package. Yep, but I remember that too. It also came with a comic book. Starship, warp drive. Okay, I think I remember this one. Stellar track. <coughs> Jeez, I never knew there were so many games. Super Breakout. Playing that sucker. There it is. And in this one here, a nice, another nice little feature is uh, every time you hit the reset button, the sound effects change. Same thing here. After several hits, the play field drops.
Dios mío. smaller these sword quest earth world but uh i think you're you were much better off uh, just going on the internet and just getting the guide just getting the guide on it because uh this game here requires you to pick up certain items and drop them in certain rooms but it's seemingly arbitrary because they're all where you where you have to put them makes like no sense whatsoever so Circus Fire World, Water World. Oh, so they actually did make two more. Last I heard, they only made the first one. They tried to make a second one, but it flopped, so I thought they stopped making them. Video checkers. Um, checkers and chess, they could be fun games. That a, the problem is, is uh, they're using an old school AI where uh, they don't. The AI doesn't think better, it thinks longer. So, if you're playing a Grandmaster level, I mean, you might as well make your move and then go out and get some lunch and then come back and hope to hell that he's done making his move. So, you can take forever. Fun game right here. Same thing, it's a lot more fun with, uh, with two or more players, though. Yars Revenge played the crap out of this one. And this will be the last game. in this game is when the base does that uh, spinner thingy you want to fire your cannon at the, at the spiral after he shoots it Looks like I accidentally shut it off. I was just wanting to go back to the title screen, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break off and get something to eat. Then I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'll probably end up having to take a nap here at some point. Um, so take care and see you next time.